Hey everyone, uh, this is Peter with Midwest Mushrooms um, and also Tiny Tinks Farm, which is our urban farm. So we just started selling these kits. They are ready to fruit kits or environment kits that we sell with our ready to fruit blocks. Uh, right now we have a pink oyster mushroom and we're gonna show you how to use our environment kit so you can have something that goes on your countertop that you can use to fruit the mushrooms. Okay, so this is basically everything that comes in our radiated fruit uh, environment kit. So we have a, uh, it's called a four thick uh, 1020 seed tray. So it's a really, it's one of the more sturdy ones. Uh, we also have ones that have the perforated holes in the bottom, which is gonna be used for drainage. And I'll show you how to use that in a second here. And then we also have these uh, patented um, humidity domes. They have these vents on the sides as well as the top. So it's going to come in handy. Okay, so the first step is we're going to take these, uh, these are bags of perlite. And we're going to need two of these. extra you don't have to use everything all right and now one way you can do this is you can put this under your faucet where you take the thing out and you run it under the water until all the perlite has been hydrated another thing you can do is you can just fill it up with, uh, with a pitcher now what this is going to do is the water is going to hydrate the perlite and because of the structure of the perlite it Perlite is going to add humidity to the air because of the amount of surface um, that there is on the perlite. So just by the air going over perlite, that will add humidity to the humidity though. We're going to let it drain for about 15 minutes. If you're worried about contamination, always wash your hands before you do this, but if you're worried about contamination, uh, what you can do is you can use hydrogen peroxide and you can kind of spray the top level, which will kill off any uh, contaminants that might form. And this thing gets dumped in the sink. Okay, so now we have our hydrated perlite. thing goes right over the top obviously the next step is we're going to take our pink oyster block now we sell three types of kits we sell pink oyster pearl oyster and golden oyster those are the ones that people have the most success with what we're going to do is we're going to take the block put it on its side and we're going to draw put an x on the side we're going to cut the bag open and put the shape of an x You don't have to use a scalpel, you can use a regular kitchen knife or a utility knife. Just make sure not to cut yourself. Now another important factor with these is that they have a shelf life. You know, they've been incubating in this bag and they are sold as ready to fruit. So when you cut them open, when you buy them from us, they're ready. If you let them sit or if they get too cold, they can, the mycelium can die and that will prevent any mushrooms from forming. So right now I'm just pulling away the plastic bag just a little bit. This is going to create a nice little microclimate on the surface. There we go. This thing goes over the, and there we go. So this thing will stay on our countertop and we will use to watch it produce mushrooms. Uh, you'll notice that humidity will build up on the humidity dome. Uh, which is a good sign. So if it looks too dry in there, you're always you can definitely add more water to the perlite and drain it like we did in the first step. Uh, but yeah, that's it.